how to place an order. Once you are in the account that you would like to place an order in, you will need to click on the Orders tab, and then you will want to click New. A new order box will then appear. You would select their current market or warehouse. It usually defaults to whatever market or warehouse they are currently assigned to. Now you can go ahead and at this point change their address if you choose to on the order. If they don't want it to go to their shipping address or their billing address that's on their account, then you can go ahead and change it. to a different address. And save. And once the address has been saved, now you can add items to your order. To add new items, you'll want to click on Add New Items. You can of course, use the drop-down box to scroll and add items to it, and then change the quantity if you would like more than just one. If you'd like to add more items than what you've already put on the order, you can do the same thing. You can type in a word. It will search for the, that word in the SKU or the SKU's description. If they've changed their mind on what they don't want in that order anymore, then you can go ahead and click the box of what they would like removed and click Delete Item. If, for example, this person has ordered one warrior one Tiki Warrior glass, and they want two. As you can see, this SKU will not be available for you to add because it's already a line item. So you could delete that SKU then go in and add it again like that or if they wanted to have three instead of two, another really easy way to add an item is click Scan Items, paste the SKU, hit Enter, then click Save, and that'll add it as well. If they decided that they only wanted four instead of five of these, the only way to remove one is to remove all five. and then add four back in. Some of the important information to take note on the order is the distributor ID at the top, the order number at the top, the status is currently entered, that means that it, the order has been placed, items have been added to it, but it has not been paid. Once it is paid, it does go to posted. Uh, the bonus date and the order date should match unless you are backdating or forward dating an order. The order date never changes, but the bonus period can, depending on what you would like it to be. If you wanted to change the bonus period, click on the calendar next to the bonus date, click on the date that you want it to be, and then click OK, and then it'll change the bonus period. That's how you forward or backdate an order. As you can see, this line item, Tiki War Warrior Glass, there are three of them. At this point, you do, as, as a user of Worldview, have the ability to change the unit price. So if you have that ability, you can go ahead and do that. And if you wanted to change the volume, you can do that there as well. Uh, these are locked down for admins only, though. Now you have where it's going to. You have what will be going out. Now you need to choose how it will be shipping out. So you'll always want to choose a ship method. If you don't choose a ship method, the order won't batch somewhere and won't ship out. So at this point, you can go ahead and choose between the two different shipping options. As you can see, the product total is $580. We've added now a ship cost of $10.80. 
if this were an address that is taxable per our tax rates on our account, then a tax rate would be there. Then it gives you your order subtotal along with your payment total and your balance due. Right now, the total comes to 59080. That is the balance due. So we want to go ahead and post a payment. So you click on Payment tab. Most people pay with a credit card, so we're going to go ahead and pretend that they're paying with a credit card today. Uh, if they do not have one on file already, it would appear in the box if they did by the name that they have named it, but this one doesn't, so then you would want to click New Credit Card. You would want to select that they are going to be using their billing, shipping, or other address that matches this credit card number. You would definitely want to ask them which one it is. Enter in a credit card number. And for these purposes, I'm using a fake number. I'm going to call this credit card default just because it'll be my default card, and I'm going to save it. That doesn't mean it's saving it on the account, it's just saving it on this order. Because this is a one-off order, we will be passing the CVV code that's on the card through to the credit card processor. So you'll enter that in, then you will go ahead and agree to the amount and post payment. As you can see, the payment has now been posted. The payment tab is now gone because there is no longer a balance due. It takes you automatically to the payment history tab to show that your payment has been posted successfully and has completed. Your order is now in the posted status and will now batch to your fulfillment center. If you close out the order, you can see by clicking the orders tab again, that that order is there of the order date 515, the bonus date 514, the order number, who it's shipping to, the amount that the order was, how much is due, which is zero, the volume, the full total volume of the order, the posted status, and who entered it. Once this has shipped and status turns to ship and a tracking number has been uploaded, you would see a tracking number and a ship date here.